Hi Grade 8, welcome back for your fourth lesson this week, which is going to be our last lesson before after half term. And this lesson, we're going to learn how to make a break. That's literally what it's called. We're going to learn how to make a break. We're not breaking it, we're learning how to make it. Learning how to make a break, which is going to last for four bars. And we're going to learn how to make a verse that's going to last for eight bars. Now, what you need to know about a break in a verse, so what we said was a chorus has the most energy. This is the climax of the song. It has to be the catchiest part of the song. It has to be the part of the song that people remember. And all of you have done a fantastic job in making a good chorus. It's actually been really, really fun to listen to all your work. So when it comes to a break, how it works is, and DJs would usually call this like a drop. What, and it's like a small part where there's a loss, where some of the instruments drop out, just so it's like, whew, then you bring them back in. So it's like we're trying to calm people down, all right? So the chorus has just happened, everyone's up there, it's a climax, but now we bring the drop. Take some instruments out, we're trying to calm people down, take them back into the verse. We're ushering them into the verse. So if this is your chorus, your drop is over here. Hopefully you see that, this is your chorus, your drop is all the way down here, so chorus, drop. Then you bring it back up to your verse. So chorus, drop, verse. Your verse is in between. So your verse doesn't have as much energy as your chorus, but it doesn't have as little energy as your break. Now, when it comes to your, when it comes to navigating them, your verse, the way it's going to look different from your choruses, it has to have more space. It has to have the room as if, if someone was going to sing a vocal line, if someone, you had a singer, if you had someone who had like a small little melody thing going on. So yeah, it has to have a bit of space. That means don't let it be too busy with many tracks. Give it some breathing space. Allow someone to be able to put some notes in there and to take some out. But the verse is not as high energy and it's not as catchy as the chorus because we want our chorus to be what people are constantly anticipating. That's what they want to look forward to in the song. So chorus, high energy, break, quick drop. We're trying to calm the people down, then take it back to the verse where you have Decent amount of energy, not too high, not too low, not super catchy, but it's still interesting as we go along. And we don't want the verse to remain the same for the entire verse. We want it to be slightly chilled here, then slightly building up towards the end of the verse, and then we'll take it to our next part, which we'll carry on next term. So watch for those changes in energy. Coordinate how you use your tracks well, so that you don't have too many that are giving too much energy too soon. And one major thing, when it comes to your verse, don't let it be super different from your song. It will be slightly different, but it should not sound like an entirely new song. It should still sound like the song. So it should sound a little bit like your intro, a little bit like your chorus, but not like an entirely different song like, hey, what happened? I thought I was in a rock concert and now I'm in a hip hop concert. All right, so make sure it still sounds like it's still part of the song. It should still blend. And yeah, so let's go and take it to the lab. All right, grade eight, open up your band lab. Make sure you're using Google Chrome. Click on Browse Loops, have a good pair of headphones. I'm going to move a bit quick today. I'm going to make another new track. And today we're going to try and get into making a break and making a verse. So that's going to be a whole lot of fun. So let's get started. Let's go to Packs, Genre. This is a quick way to find any kind of genre you want. I'm going to go for some electronic. Let me see. Let me try to use something I've not really tried to use before. Driven Drums, 303 Loops, onto Genre. Give me some genre IDM. I've used that before. Not that I can't use it again, but just to stay fresh. What is there? Da -da -da. Speed Garage or mid tempo. No, let me go for Speed Garage. That's some late 90s, like 98 stuff. All right, so I'm going to start off with putting in some keys. Now I'm going to bring in my beats later into the chorus just to bring some energy. So let's see what they have as some different keys options. That's pretty cool. Whoa, that sounds spooky. That sounds like nothing. Okay, there it is. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. This is actually pretty cool keys. I like them. Let me actually go for the spooky. Let's let's try something new. Something which I'm not accustomed to. So I'm going to put that there. So my intro is going to last for 16 beats. Not 6, it's going to... Yeah, 16 beats, sorry. 16 bars, not beats. Even I get, even I keep mixing them up in my mouth, mind and mouth. All right, so after that, let me add in some... Let's see what they got here. Some bass. Let's get some good bass here. 
They have a lot of bass tracks. Let's go with it. You drag it in. I want it to come in the next four bars. It's from bar five. Drag it all the way till 16. So I'm just layering different tracks on top of another. Now for my next track, let me go for some. Let's see what they have. Put on some strings. On some lead. No, don't want that. Let's see what they have for some strings. That sounds spooky as well. So strings usually refers to like cellos, violins, violas, double bass, anything within the string family in an orchestra. Hmm. Brass, that sounds interesting. This, I like the subtleness of this one. Let's go for that. That's going to be my next four bars. Da -da -da. Drag that up until there. Okay, let's see how that sounds so far. It's very spooky. <laughs> That's funny. Very unsettling. see what else can I put in over here just to layer it one more time hmm let's see what they have some effects would be cool since we're doing a lot of weird stuff let's put this doohickey in right there I'll bring it in the last four bars let's see how it sounds from here Okay, that's, I mean, it's a bit too long for me as an effect, so let me drag it out. Oh, one thing, if you ever want to shorten an original track, you can't click the top left, top right-hand side, you have to click the bottom right-hand side to shorten it out. So let me try to take just a little bit, I'll put it right there. Uh... In fact, let me use that subtraction method just to remove some of these in that last beat. Yes, this one I mean the last beat right there. And then I will have this part just for one beat. Shorten it out and drag it there. There we go. Let's see how that sounds. All right. Now I'm going to bring in my beat. Let's see what beats we have. That's going to really bring in the energy because now I'm, now I'm in my chorus. So I need, if whenever I'm in, if you want to really bring the energy, you want something that has the snare, the kick and the snare. So remember the kick is the doosh, doosh, the low stuff. And the snare is the ksh, ksh, so do cha. Sorry, the snare is the cha, so do cha, do cha. The hi-hat is tss, 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 tss. So I really just want something with some kick and some snare so there's no kick there i'm getting some hi-hats and snares so that's not going to bring in a lot of energy there's a go there we go there's a kick and a snare but i want something a bit more let me look for a kick a hi-hat and a snare that's just kick oh there we go there we go there's a kick hi-hat snare the clap is actually a snare when you whoosh, the clap is also kind of like a snare let me bring that in over here Right there, from bar 17 to 25, that is my chorus. So let's drag that out up until 25. Bar till 24, end of 24, because 25 is now going to be what we're doing today, our break. All right, let me do the same for my keys. Let me take some of that right here. I'm going to split it just so I can take it by itself. So S to slice, Command C or Control C, depending on what laptop you're using. Drag your playhead, Command V to paste, put it there, drag it up till 25, because our chorus is going to last eight bars. Something's not right. So that's four, four bars, four bars. Oh, I see what's wrong. I took it from here. 
So undo, undo, just command Z, control Z. So let me take it from, let me slice it from here. Duh, duh, duh. Slice, control, command C, C to copy and paste. Bring my play it here, command V. There we go. Because since I clicked and copy pasted this one, it was one beat short. You see that? That's why it was a bit weird and wonky. So let me put that there. And then I'm going to drag it out. Let's take my somewhat base. I'm going to do the same thing. Split from here. Command C. Put it right there. Drag it out, bay beat number 25. All right, same thing for here. Slice that, command C, put it right there, paste. Gonna drag it out. All right, and what else do I want? Let's see how that sounds. So this should be pretty high energy, mainly because of the beat. So this is my chorus. So let's listen to from where the brass comes in. see what else we have here so these, let me look for another effects just to keep the chorus interesting mm, that sounds cool oh yes that would work as a perfect transition all right let me put that in right there Let's see how it sounds from here All right, we're in business. We are in business. So that's really cool. So now we're going to make our break. So our break is only going to last four bars. And then we're going to put a verse that has eight bars. So whenever you're going to your break, remember, you want everyone to calm down. Everyone has been super hyped in the course. We're like, no, no, let's just take it down a notch, people. Let's take it down a notch. So we want this, the energy to kind of go down a bit just for four bars, then bring it up a bit again just for the verse. So the break is going to have a bit lower energy, but then going to bring in, it's going to show us that something else is coming. And then the verse is where it will set a little bit, all right? So it has to be a little bit less exciting. And so let's see how we can make it a bit exciting, a little bit less exciting, which is kind of a bit tricky. Actually, the verse is even more tricky, but let's see what we can do. Uh, let's see what we have for our base. Maybe I'll just change. So that effect has shown me a transition. Let's see what we can do with the base. If I try and change the base to something a bit more chilled. Let's work with that. Do, 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 do. There we go. So all the instruments have dropped out, yeah? So that's a very important DJ producer technique when you drop out all the other instruments and leave just one playing along. So now let's see. Let me try to change a beat. So I don't want to have any kick just so I can lower the energy. So remember, the kick is the oomph, oomph, oomph. So let me go for... So they have. So this would work. Oh, that would work cool. It doesn't have any oomph. That, I mean, this one, not really... Can it? Let's see what else they have. That's what we used before. All right, here we go. There's the, the kick is gone. So we have the hi-hat and a bit of a light snare. Let me put that in there. See how that sounds. Great. Oh yes, that sounds cool. That sounds cool. All right, all right, all right. Oh, even has a little reverse thing happening at the end of the beat so that's going to work really well in taking us to reverse so let's see hmm maybe i want another effect do i uh not really no let me let me leave that there so i've dropped out three different tracks and i've left these two 
just for four bars from bar 25 to end of bar 28. So this is now my break. So the energy has dipped, but it's still driving itself. Now let's make our verse. Our verse is going to be four beats, and that's going to last from beat. I mean, it's going to be eight beats, so it's going to last from beat bar 29 to 37. Sorry when I keep mistaking beats and bars. Just sometimes slips off the tongue. So beat 29. So I need... Let's see if I can change the bass line again. gap in between that one so that would give me a bit of space Let's see our transitions now the verse can be a bit tricky because it's like we've just taken our chorus gone down a bit gone down a lot in energy to our break but now I want to bring it up to a middle area where it's not competing with the chorus and it's not as low as the break so you have to be creative in how you're going to have that middle section of energy so if it's like if the chorus is high energy break is just low you only have that versus medium medium deluxe so i'm happy with that bass let's see what else we let's see if we can change the beats again to an, some more chilled beats Let's see how that would sound. Oh, that's perfect. That works really well. Now, let's just to keep this going. So as a verse, you want to think of space. Because in a verse, that's when the singer is usually singing or you have an instrumental playing their melody or... The, or just a small tune. So it shouldn't be as catchy, but it should be nice. It should be pleasurable to listen to. So let's see if we can get some keys in, some nice keys. Ooh, that sounds nice. Oh, that sounds too much. Too much energy. That would be, that'd be bringing in a lot of energy. Actually, that could work as a verse. Is there nothing? Let's see what's number 12. Where is everything? I really like that. Let me just take that there. I'm gonna drag it into my keys. I'm gonna put it there. Now, since I want my bass, since I want everything to last for eight bars, let me drag it out. So that's gonna be from 33, 34, 35, up until the end of 36. So just before bar 37, right there. Put that in right there as well. Let's see, beats number four. Now I need to get a bit organized just so I don't confuse myself. So let me start with my labeling. So remember, it's really important to label your stuff just to stay organized and to keep your workflow low. So here's my bass. Here's my brass. Brass is horns, like trumpets and stuff. Effects. Beats. What's this last one? I don't want none of that. Let me delete it. Delete track. All right. Let's see what we have here. So this is my from the end of my course into my break into my verse. Break. <laughs> that I don't even want to touch it just okay well yeah okay well, I know I don't want to touch it let me just to keep the interest there let me add a little effect just in the second half of the verse so the first half is from 29 to 30 end of 32 the second half is from 33 up until 36 let's see if there's an effect that can complement it <laughs> that sounds like birds in the morning Whoa, that's too intense. Oh, 
Why not use this again? Let's see how that would work. I like how subtle it is in the beginning. Okay, that's perfect. That's my verse. I think it's pretty low energy, not not super low. I think it's medium energy. Definitely not with a chorus, but sounds good. Has a lot of space. If there was a singer or someone playing a melody line, it would definitely fit. Let's see what this looks like all together. So well, that's me zooming out all the way. Zoom back in. Let's listen to it from the top, people. I think that is perfect. That is actually really good. I like how the energy dropped dropped just enough so it still puts the chorus as the high point. So that is it. That's how you make your break and your verse. Remember, you're looking to gain energy, lose energy. Think like a DJ. If you want people to dance, you don't want to keep them super, super filled with energy for the entire time. You have to let the energy come down and up. Same thing as a music producer. You don't want the energy to constantly be at the same level the entire time. Mess around with the energy and that will keep your song really interesting. That will keep people anticipating what's going to happen next, what's going to happen next. It just keeps things really, really fresh as long as, long as you do that. So yeah, so drop out some of the tracks. So for example, here, this was my chorus. So low of energy, you can see all the tracks right there. But then for my break, what I do, I remove my keys, I remove my brass, I remove my effects. I was only left with my bass and I even changed the beats. So notice how I really increased the energy by bringing my beats in the chorus. And then I brought in a different sense of energy because the beats over here, let's even listen to them. So the beats over here in my chorus had the kick. So the doom, cha, had a kick, a hi-hat and a snare. That'll really bring up a lot of energy because I'm using a lot of the drum kit right there. Alright, that's cool. Then now in my break, notice how the drums change. One more time. So you see there was no kick there. And now, what about from bar 29? Let's see how it changes over here as I bring in the verse. So that's just kick and snare. Doom, cha, doom. It sounds like a clap, but a clap also acts as a snare. Now, and listen to this part of the beat in the break. The reason why I didn't use an effect is because it, the beat itself seems to already have some sort of some sort of reversal thing that shows a change is coming. So just listen to it. Right there. Perfect. That's perfect. Then I just kept this. So since it doesn't have an open hi-hat or anything special, just a kick and a snare, just keeps that energy nice and steady. So let's listen to how my beats, let's see how my beats change from my chorus up until my verse. Alright, I think that's pretty cool. That is legit. Alright, so one last tip and one very important pointer. Make sure that whenever you're doing your verse, it's very easy because it can get a bit, can be a bit complex in terms of how to get that middle level of energy. 
But don't let it sound like a completely different song. It still has to sound like it is part of that song. You don't want it to sound like you brought in a... You don't want to be like a DJ that just changed genres from rock going all the way to country music. No, no, let's say, let's say country. Let's say you went from electronic music to country music. You don't want that to happen. So you still want the verse to sound somewhat like the intro and like the break. Let it sound similar. But you don't want... No, no, don't let it sound too alike. But let it still sound similar. Let the levels of energy change, but don't make it sound like a different song. So you have to be, you have to balance it out. Be like a chef. You don't want too much salt, but you don't want no salt. You don't want too much avocado, but you just, but you don't want no avocado. You gotta have a little something. So have it somewhere in between. And yeah, that's it. Go ahead and start making music. So that is your assessment. Start a fresh track. Make sure it's an electronic track, and go for it. Make a break make a verse and have all the way up until 37 36 bars filled and then we'll go ahead and continue let's listen to it one last time just because i think it sounded really really good And there you have it, grade eight. That's how you create a break, and that's how you create a verse. And that's how you navigate the differences in energy between those two. So for your assessment, what I want you to do is, you're gonna pick an electronic dance track, all right? So anything that's techno, anything that's house, anything that's electronica, anything that's deep house, that is the category. So you, ha you still have a, a few different, yeah, you still have a big range of options right there, but I want it to be electronic music, okay? So house, deep house, electronica, uh, disco house, any of those. Pick any of those and you're going to create an intro for the 16 bars. You're going to create a chorus for 8 bars. You're going to create a break for 4 bars. And you're going to create a verse for another 8 bars. You're going to use every single thing that we've learned this half of term. And you're going to put it right there. By the end of the track, you should have 37... 37 bars that have been used for music. So that means it just ends before bar 38 starts. So take your time, put them well, organize them well, be creative, try to use some of the slicing techniques, put some things where you're like, oh, that sounds cool there. Oh, I'm not too satisfied with that. Let me put something else in. Remember, trial and error, but don't complicate it too much, but have fun with it. So that's what I want you to take your time with. You have the full length of week five to get yourself sorted, and I need you to upload it on by week six on band lab and i will see you and we will continue after half term and hopefully we will have a fully fledged song so go take your time go get some good music and make sure mr b hears that good music see you after half term grade eight